Announcement came almost exactly one year ago. The Chicago Bears named Mannheim Central graduate Matt Nagy as their new head coach. This weekend, the Bears host the Eagles in the playoffs. Sports director Todd Sadowski is here with more on Nagy's journey to the NFL. In order to understand what Matt Nagy means to Mannheim, it's important to understand what Mannheim means to Matt Nagy. We'll start there with Matt's comments about his hometown the very first day on the job. We all have our roots. And I want to thank everyone back home in the small town in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, uh, in, in Lancaster County for always supporting me. Uh, go Barons. His support system reaches far beyond the field. Even the diehard Eagles fans in town are going to have trouble rooting against Coach Nagy on Sunday. We tackle this story with three different visits. Make no mistake, his football foundation begins as a Baron. His name is all over car dealerships in Mannheim, not Matt's his former teammate and one of his closest friends, Jason Hondru. Teammates together in midget football, high school football, and even in college at the University of Delaware. Well, when he was playing football, it was either I'm going to be a player or I'm not going to be involved in football at all. A contact from their college days with the Blue Hens convinced Matt to come to Eagles training camp. He impressed then head coach Andy Reid and eventually caught on full time. He's always been a competitor and a winner, so um, He's got a drive that not many people have. To expect that he was going to make it to the playoffs and turn things around this quickly, I don't know if there's a lot of people that were going to be 100% sure that that was going to happen because there's a lot of moving parts to it, but not surprised that he's gotten this far so quick. 20-hour work days don't allow a lot of social time, so Jason keeps his distance and refrains from contacting Matt during the season. Just like everyone else, he's watching the Bears closely from afar. Whether you're going to the barber shop or the pizza shop, it's coming up. It's all over the place. So yeah, and there's there's Bears viewing parties just about every weekend around town. So if you can't find one, you're not looking hard. We didn't have to look hard for our next stop. Matt's mom, Gail, has the Bears banner out front of the house. She's already dressed for game day, sort of. The family is heading up to the Windy City for the Bears and Birds. It's freezing by the lake. She'll need to bundle up. A very warm greeting for us. Even took the time to stroll down memory lane with an impressively organized scrapbook from Matt's Barron's playing days. It has been really fun and exciting um, because this was a a big transition for Matt, Stacy, the boys, and, and family. No one knew really, you know, what to expect. There's only 32 head coaching jobs in the NFL. Matt has one of them. That means Gail is one of 32 moms. She's always going to worry. That's what moms do. It's clear how important the failures have been along this journey. Naturally, you remember all the good things and the happy times, but um, the disappointments stand out too. When that happens, as a mom, you hurt as much for your child as, as they do. And that will be the first one to tell you that those struggles and disappointments helped him learn how to deal with successes in the right way. Matt led the Bears to the NFC North Division Championship in his first year, winning over the city and converting Mannheim NFL fans. I'm finding more and more Bears fans <laughs> coming out of the woods, <laughs> uh, you know, that I didn't realize, but the connections that we're making uh, with those people, it's fun. The new Bears faithful mark their spot in town as well. One of them is right across from our final destination. Eldon Ratu Field in Mannheim, one of the high profile historic high school football locations in Pennsylvania, the place where Matt was thrust into the football spotlight. Now he's the central figure in one of the most iconic venues in all of sports, Chicago's Soldier Field. George Hallis, Mike Ditka, Matt Nagy. That's a pretty high ranking NFL order right there. I mean, George Hallis and uh, Mike Ditka doesn't get any better. Now you got Matt there, that's pretty awesome. His first year on the Baron staff was Matt's senior year at QB. Safe to say he made a lasting first impression. What stood out to me was Matt's ability to lead. He, he was a leader from the get-go. Um, he just could rally people around him. He had such a positive energy about him and a fierce competitive attitude that guys just wanted to rally around him because he was going to take them to where they need to go. Well, the Bears are the favorites in Sunday's game in Chicago. A wild card victory earns Coach Nagy and his team a trip to Los Angeles to face the Rams in the NFC Divisional Playoff Round. Now, holiday season last year, Matt 
was a hot candidate for a head coaching job. Holiday season this year, the Bears are being talked about as a possible Super Bowl team. And Matt Nagy, a strong contender yeah. for NFL Coach hmm. of the Year. Pretty Fantastic. amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, they do well. Yeah. It's funny, I saw the picture and I said, wait a minute, he was a quarterback there in 95 <laughs> when I was anchoring here still? It's how long he's been in football. Oh, yeah. Well, and how long <laughs> you've been here. <laughs> That's exactly right. Sometimes I don't need to see dated photographs. Thank you, Todd. Good story. Thanks, Todd.